Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of Making a Murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. My name's Stacy Seabrook and I approve Eric Jose on Making a Murderer to be able to use my songs on his channel. Thank you. everybody how you doing back at the command center now finally uh, home from Australia bitter you know sweet kind of feeling that is obviously uh, I love all my buddies uh, who I got to hang out with there uh, you know the hod you know the Havering Scotsman and uh, you know Stacy uh, all great guys and it was a lot of fun and everything but you know here I am back at the command center. Now I can show you guys some of the footage from Australia, upload, and do those sort of things that I couldn't do in Australia, unfortunately. So, sorry if my voice is a little hoarse, folks. I've been quite the busy guy for the last week. Uh, my voice might be a little bit hoarse. So, anyway, sorry. So, I mean, we had a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. I mean, the first night, the first night uh, getting to hang out at Hod's, Hod's Hut, Hod's Ranch, uh, that was awesome. Um, Mark has some beautiful property, has a very beautiful house. Um, it was really cool just sitting out on his patio and doing those lives, uh, and doing those little videos and stuff to, you know, having some fun with it. And, 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 you know, and then the next day where we did the reveal, in the morning where we did the reveal of Stacy, uh, which was really, really fun and really, really cool. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, you know, the whole Stacy thing was, was a surprise to me too, folks. Uh, I showed up at the airport to meet Mark and suddenly it was like, oh, wow, there's Stacy. It was like, whoa, cool, way cool, you know, anyway, so that's where it was. Anyway, so you, those of you know, we got there, then, you know, while we were still hanging out at Mark's for the first day and a half, I think it basically, yeah, big day and a half roughly, and we, um, we went and got some things made. Mark got some business cards made that, here, I think I may have shown you guys, but just for those who may not have seen them, and we got these made to hang, to hand out at the events, you know, the, the speaking engagements with uh, Drizzt and Rider and Rudolph and everything, so we got these things here made up, you know, uh, it's you know making a murder on it and set you know so it has like that you know Stephen Avery and then on the back side uh, it shows obviously mine and Stacy's I know if I could get this camera focus better anyway it shows mine and Stacy's YouTube channels uh, you know where to go for news and chat where to go for thought for rock thought provoking songs kind of thing so um, we were handing those out at the shows trying to create some awareness that way. Uh, a couple people asked me to sign theirs and stuff, so that was fun. Um, you know, so we got the cards made up, and then we went and got that guy right there made up, right? And we took that with us to the first show at the at, at the Duke of Enmore Theater, the first night show in Sydney. And this thing got a lot of attention. People were coming up wanting to take their pictures with it and, you know, that sort of stuff. And we were handing out the cards and all that sort of stuff. It was a lot of fun. And uh, so we we really wanted to make this thing, you know, we wanted to include it in more stuff. We wanted to make it a part of our trip. We wanted to make it a really big part of our trip. So we ended up taking it to the Melbourne show when we flew into Melbourne. Took an hour flight over there and into Melbourne. And went to the Melbourne Convention Center. Got to walk around the city there, walk around the wharf, which was cool, the South Wharf there. You know, yay for those of you who know I'm, you know where that's at. Adam Bills, what's up, buddy? Uh, anyway, we got to hang out down there with the, you know, with the banner and stuff. But when we pulled it out at the convention center, they were they poo-pooed it and they came out and kind of gave us some, you know, some grief about it and 
to, asked us to please not pull it out or whatever. The, the the owners of the venue didn't want us to be doing that or whatever. And yeah, anyway, so didn't stop the mad Scotsman from trying to push his luck and pull it out for a third time after they'd already come out and told us twice when he pulled it out the second time. He was about to pull it out for a third time and make sure that none of us got to watch the show. Anyways, fortunately, I was able to get him to relent in his havering ways that time. And uh, <laughs> anyways, so eventually we went in and saw the show. But so these are some of the th cool things that were left over. I have an idea about this. I might talk about it in my next live. I'm not sure when that's going to be, whether it be tonight or tomorrow. Um, that depends on what my jet lag feels like after I get done finishing this video and uploading it. <laughs> so I'm kind of going you know, like this, kind of, I'm on like ups and downs, kind of, sort of, you know, it's a little bit <clears throat> off-putting, uh, so if I, if I, after this, if I'm, you know, feeling kind of whatever, I'll go live and, and maybe for a little bit, so, uh, and I'll talk about an idea I have maybe for that, so anyways, uh, what we're going to hear, be doing here today, what we're going to hear seeing and, and everything is, while we were there, this is one of the very first things we did, kind of, after the live the morning, uh, that we revealed that Stacy was there for you all. Um, we took a drive. We were driving into Sydney um, to go to our, you know, our lodgings there in Sydney where we were going to be staying. And we were driving in. So it's a pretty long kind of drive. It's about an hour, a little over an hour, I think it was anyway. And so the whole way we were, we were all singing, you know, Stacy's hits, basically. Car karaoke, James Corden style, right? So that's what we got here for you, folks. I hope you hope you'll find it funny or pleasurable or you know whatever, or just enjoy the fact that we were out there doing something just to try to be fun to upload to, to create more awareness of the case and share Stacy songs and and you know do all those things that we can to to continue to help this you know issue stay in the forefront, stay to keep the pressure on, as it were. You know, uh, with the powers that be there in Wisconsin and that sort of stuff. So this is just another fun thing for supporters, the Wrecking Crew, anybody who tunes into my channel. Um, this is just something a bit of fun for those who, especially for those who know all of us, the Hod, Capaldi, uh, Stacy, and myself. Um, those people who know us, you know, they, they, you know, you guys will find this, you know, particularly I think enjoyable. Um, it may not be perfect. It may get a little bit off, off course, maybe a couple points or whatever. So, be forgiving. Uh, but it's car karaoke and it's for fun. And even if it's cringeworthy, we're leaving it, Stacy. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so without further ado, let us move on to the car karaoke singing Stacy's hits. Here we go. It was suspicious. 
I hope the Biden team of justice is so vicious. For those who read the lie, they temporarily preserve. You know, they only temporarily preserve in the lie. If then it's a time to a so called confession. The Peterson was out of town when she went missing. Sam William Henry Call. We can never forget any Sam William Henry Call. <laughs> we round, round them all up. <laughs> Let's bring bigger print them all. <laughs> so, so much planted evidence and anyone can see. The magic bullet and then the RAB. And evidence that defines gravity. The key that turned up seven searches later with none of her DNA at all. Let's brain fingerprint them all.
All the local judges and found is the state's AG, but I got some news. It's plain as day. It doesn't matter what the state or the guilty say. We oh, got Kathleen. She's got him in her sights. She's a real life hero turning wrongs to rights. And no matter how hard that state's gavel pounds, we're over in Wisconsin. They're coming down. Justice 
karaoke Stacy Seabrook style for you guys uh, while Stacy's getting the next tune on there uh, hope you guys are enjoying it we're uh, driving into Sydney so we decided to we were inspired by James Corden and his little uh, carry car karaoke thing he does on his show which is where we kind of got the idea so I hope you guys are having fun with it hopefully uh, Stacy's figuring out the technical difficulties there <laughs> otherwise it'll be unaccompanied <laughs> and the company, yeah. <laughs> that could be dangerous. It could be. Okay, we'll just do this one next. Within the courts, now as you shake your head, 
truth train it on the train okay and that does it for the car karaoke today sorry kind of cut off there quickly but uh it just it's it is it it was what it was we uh we had to shut it off or it got shut off or the song changed i can't remember what it was exactly that that caused it to get cut off but it did anyway uh that's that's a little bit of fun of car for with the car karaoke singing stacy's hits um i have two other little tracks bonus tracks that i will be uploading to the doctor who channel for those of you who want to go check it out and are curious about what the bonus tracks are go over to the doctor who channel and check those out uh, but this was our attempt to really, you know, make a fun video to help create more awareness for the case and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and we'll see ya.